month away from one of our favorite events. It's the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. It's four days of classes and parties featuring some of the best cocktails in town. And it's all for charity. The Children's Shelter is one of those groups who will benefit. Take a look. Tiny chairs and tables for little feet and hands. It looks like your standard daycare, doesn't it? But if you take a closer look, there's more to these plush animals and colorful books than meets the eye. They come to us 24-7, sometimes in the middle of the day, sometimes in the middle of the night. You see, the kids that come here arrive with very different circumstances. Bear County has one of the highest rates of child abuse in the nation. Annette Rodriguez is the president and CEO of the Children's Shelter, an agency that's been helping abused, abandoned, and neglected children in San Antonio for more than a century. Its emergency shelter serves about 600 children in the community, from newborns to age 14, while the court decides their future as well as comprehensive programs to help them during their stay. When they come to us, they're really just wearing, they only have what they're wearing on their backs and that's all. So it's up to us to feed them and clothe them and educate them and also then to help them heal from the trauma and experiences that they've had. The Children's Shelter not only provides programs and services for thousands of children and parents, but did you know they also help in education by housing this school on their 10 acre campus. At that time, I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that this place was a safe place. Blue Hess was just six years old at that time. I just remember um, driving in the back of a police car. It was probably in the middle of the night to come to the children's shelter and then falling asleep. I was, along with my biological siblings, physically abused and neglected uh, by both of my parents. It's really important for us to implement very quickly when they arrive here, a sense of healing, a sense of safety so that they can start becoming um, or they can start healing from the experiences that they've had. They're very specific treatment models that we use with them. Again, to help them get through the trauma, help them realize that it was not their fault um, and that they can take control of their lives and be successful. And he says the memories of his time were nothing but positive. I had lots of fun playing on the swings and eating this chicken noodle soup a lot. And I, I always have very good memories with it. And as you know, as I got older, when I left the Tillum Shelter, they gave me a blanket and a pillow, and I still have that blanket. But the programs don't stop at the child. For the last 15 years, the Children's Shelter has offered an array of programs that also focus on the parents to stop the cycle of abuse. And what we have found is that parents, for the most part, they want to be the best parents that they can be. Sometimes they're going through crisis. Sometimes there's issues of substance abuse. Sometimes there's financial issues. So there's lots of life challenges that are thrown at them, obstacles and crisis that keep them from being the best parent that they want to be. The Children's Shelter also works with foster parents who open their homes and hearts to hundreds of children until a forever home is found. After the Children's Shelter, I was actually put into a group home and then several foster families um, over the course of about, I want to say, five years. At age 11, Blue was finally adopted by his forever family by two loving parents. It's, it's been a very beautiful thing, you know, because I used to always say I had this like little curse where after a year I'd probably move to another family, but this is my forever family. <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Blue's now 19. He's going to college, working towards a career in physical and occupational therapy, and looking forward to what the future brings, including becoming a foster parent to children in need. I'm very blessed, so I, I kind of want to just give back my time and help others, you know, in any way I can. All right, guys, if you want some more information on the Children's Shelter, take a look at your screen. They're located at 2939 West Woodland Avenue. The number's right there. It's 212-2500, and you can check out all of this information online at childrenshelter.org. And also, I know you want to head out to the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. It's right around the corner. It's happening January 15th through the 18th, downtown on Houston Street. All the information for the classes and parties are online at cocktailconference.com. All right.